Okay, so let's look at some more of the triple six hand sign. And you can see here, uh, this is, looks like a variant of that sign. But when you see that this is a Getty image, you can see that they're, they are doing this purposely. It's undeniable what's being done. Now, there is a different uh, version of that. Uh, it's more, of, but she's doing this X sign. We'll, we'll get into that later. She was actually uh, in the closing ceremony of the Olympics. That's uh, Annie Lennox, Oprah Winfrey. Now, uh, Zach Efron, I think, is his name. I'm not sure of everyone. This is that band Paramore. So she's doing the same thing. Remember the redhead doing all of those signs? She's doing it in concert as well. This is Keisha. You can see the distinction of the eye. And, man, are they plugging this in. Justin Bieber. That band, My Chemical Romance. Look how deliberate it is. This is a joke. Man, this is a joke. And look what they do here. Catholic. So now they promote whether or not it's promoting Catholic Catholicism or not, you'll see this kind of deception. Catholicism is not Christianity. And so therefore, in this case, Catholics might be upset with them doing or this band, but it has a dual uh, effect, whether or not you believe that they're promoting Catholic Catholicism, and therefore Catholicism, it's okay to believe this because the Rome says, uh, for instance, that uh, uh, Harry Potter and magic is okay, and this kind of new age is okay if you don't go too far, this kind of stuff. So it's just really apostasy all the way around. And then the other thing is that if that the Catholic Church says, hey, why are you bashing Catholicism, then it sympathizes with Catholicism, and it has that psychological effect of saying, okay, and you'll see that example in the end of this, and when we have of case studies. Now again, you can see the dual symbolism here. He's also wearing a black and red jacket. Whether or not, uh, you know, I, I wear black and red and sometimes I'm a little, <laughs> um, I get uh, uh, sensitive about that, but really it is color. But when you see it in this context, you'll see black and red are quintessential colors and in the right context you can understand what they're doing. Getty Images, again, this is, uh, gosh, I forget his name, but there's one called the Firestarter, that was in the Olympics that was played there, British uh, band, I'm not sure if that's him though, anyway, but you can see the Getty Images and the use of that symbolism there, Jack Black, this is a Glee uh, TV show, this is Depeche Mode, I used to like this band growing up, and so you can see he's looking through these triple sixes, there's Bono again, David Bowie, a variant of that triple six sign, ads for Dolce & Gabbana, making the children do this. This is Macy's, I, or Lucifer, loves you. Give me a break. Wow. Magazine covers. Emma Watson. Real business. I took this image myself. I just couldn't believe. This is Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. Circus of the Sun, and we'll see that sun symbolism going on. Believe me, there is a difference between Jesus, the Son of God, and the worship of the sun. They want to equate that with it, and I'll show you what that's all about. This is the owner's magazine of uh, the New Jersey Nets, um, so you can see that that magazine, he's Russian. Um, movies, movies. There's that image of the Pope on the lead singer uh, Van Halen. Uh, I forget his name, but you saw that on his jacket. And so you have priests or prelates. This is the Black Pope, uh, Kolbenbach. Uh, he's the former Black Pope, which is the Jesuit general. And so you have the Black Pope here and the White Pope. And we'll get into that later. Obama. Athletes are not immune. And as a matter of fact, I believe this one has sold his soul, and he finally won his championship. Here's the triangle ritual. Here's the triple six ritual. And he throws up the chalk to represent the spirit world. Here is Muhammad Ali, who became a Muslim. Cassius Clay was his original name. Here is Carl Lewis. Like I said, a, how one down, how many more? Okay, I guess he's shooting for three. No, I'm going to tell you that these athletes sell themselves out as well. 
This is wrestling. Not at the museum. And you see Lincoln doing that. And this guy, you saw him doing the sign of Horus. Sign of silence. That is uh, Ben Stiller. Look at these. I believe these are dancers, but look at the eye of Lucifer. And look at they're all doing this. Look at them all. They are copycatting. He's doing now this X sign. It's all copycatting. And they, uh, I know somebody that's into this. Uh, he was a dancer with Lady Gaga, and he knows what he's doing. He wants to be in the industry, and he's doing whatever it takes. So they get indoctrinated in all of this. This is now Japanese. Um, Kelly, you can see the use of the pinnacle and the with the K. So this is a star, and you can see... Lucifer. And so that's the end of that series. Now, let's look at what the Bible says. Um, and I just wanted to show you uh, that the Bible says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So, Another translation says, "Be not conformed to the pattern of the patterns of this world," and that we just saw all of those symbols and patterns in this world that we get caught up in. First uh, John two fifteen to sixteen, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. I know it's difficult to not love this world. Um, there's so much fascination out there, but I'm telling you that we have another uh, thing that I believe in is the future for us and we have to make a choice in this world of either following Jesus or not and this is up to you but I come to believe that completely because the world is completely against that one man and you're gonna see that if any man love the world the love of the Father is not in him for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh oh man how appetizing that flesh is the lust of the eyes what we see is so good, and the pride of life, wow, we're so proud. Boy, you know, when we talk to somebody about what we're doing, it's always, wow, look at me, uh, and we tend to lie about what we're doing. Look, oh, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, um, everything's up and coming, and wow, how we have that pride. It is not of the Father, but it's of the world. Believe me, there is an underlying lesson to this, and we have to figure out this puzzle. Go go seek and understand what the hope, the true Christian hope is. James 4.4 4, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God. Meaning, if you are a friend of the world, you are an enemy of God. Meaning that you're against God. Whosoever uh, therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So it is against the world and God are against each other. And God is going to clean this place up. My God is going to clean this place up. And I just want you to understand that whether you believe or not at this point, believe me, uh, uh, again, it's not what I believe, it's what you believe. So this is information uh, for you to understand and uh, uh, we'll move along.